Hi everyone and welcome to Mad on the Match and today we're doing our Premier League prediction review halfway point uh, with Jack and Ben. How are you doing lads? Oh, yeah, mate. not bad, thanks. Glad to be back on. Not yeah, really. Right. How, how, how are you all year, isn't it Jack? <laughs> <laughs> fit you into my busy schedule. <laughs> That's it, yeah, fit, managed to fit me in. Um, so yeah, how we feel about these predictions? You've had a look back at your both here. Yeah? It's not, not good, old boy. It's not good. <laughs> good is it? Some, some big letdowns. It is. It is. Uh, so I will do. I will do it then. So we'll, we'll go from bottom to top in terms of what we went with, and then we'll have a look comparison to the league. So bottom of the league to start. Um, I went with Fulham. As did you, Jack? Didn't you? Yeah, I did. Me and you went with Fulham, uh, and Ben, you went West Brom. I did, yeah. Believe so. That's not a bad start, I don't think. That's not too bad. I mean, what I'll say with Fulham, they've actually impressed as as much as they're still in the bottom three, they've impressed me more than I thought they would. They've done, they've started, they've started to pick up points here and there. I don't, Mm. they're definitely not going to finish bottom. No, they've started, they've started um, being better at the back as well, haven't they? Tied up a little bit, Fulham. I thought that that would be the downfall, but yeah, they've, they've impressed me as well. Could, could easily stay up. Uh, but West Brom, Ben, you've you've done a little bit better than me and Jack there because they're 19th. Um, yeah, they're having they're having about the season I thought they would do really. Yeah, it's it's not going well for Sam, is it? That change of manager. No. It's well, no, it's not really working so far. They haven't. He said it yesterday in his press conference. They haven't got a known goal scorer, and they can't stop conceding at the back at the moment, other than against Liverpool. Yeah, well, the thing, that, the thing with that Liverpool game as well, they could, they could have easily conceded another one. They were very close to conceding another one. And they they could. Sam Johnston saved them in multiple yeah. games. He's not a bad keeper, him. I feel a bit sorry for him. He I know, I do. He's, he's getting like battered anyway, attempts every game. and he's But he makes some good saves. Uh, Allardyce, I remember I was looking back earlier at the predictions video, and Jack, I remember you saying, big fan of Billich. So you thought West Brom might stay up? Yeah, I was. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Same. I, 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 Same. I, had them, I had them to finish 17th. I, I thought they'd been a bit of a scrap, but I just, I just, I just always rated Billich and I thought he would, I thought he'd have to keep them up. And he, he still might have done if, if they kept him in the job. But it, it was just, it, it got to a point with him and the owners, didn't it, where it was just an unrepairable relationship, I think. Yeah, that's it. And I think Allardyce, some people are already saying he could, he could get the sack soon, even though he's only been there. What was it? Four games now. Three, yeah. four games, yeah. Which I think is just—it's not going to help, is it? I just don't think they're good enough to be honest with you, West Brom. Um, nineteenth place were interesting, though. Jack. <laughs> is it? Well, it gets interesting, isn't it? I don't know why I'm laughing because mine's not much better. You had West Ham. Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 I just, I just, I thought that if. I thought if Moyes, if I thought if Moyes didn't get off to a great start, I just didn't see them backing him. I mean, they've done all right, obviously. I, I, but I just thought if they had ten games where they didn't really pick up many wins, I, I could have. I, I just visioned them them giving him the chop and then it going terribly wrong for him. And I, I, I just think you know we're especially when we did that predictions video, it was at a point where things were very negative around the place at West Ham. They were with the owners. Yeah, there were a lot certainly of... the you know the fans weren't happy. They the fans themselves thought they were going to be in trouble, um, and I just I, I just thought the negativity around the place just it, that that that's what that's what made me go with that prediction. But no, they're they're being carried by the big Thomas Suchek at the minute. They are. He's a class player, him, isn't he? It's like yeah. the worst between the attack and defence. But I mean, I weren't much better. I had him in eight teams, so I, I had him to go down. Yeah. Um, and yet the. 10th and they're 15 points clear of the bottom three so fair play to West Ham they've done all right there uh, Ben your second to bottom prediction were a lot better than ours because you had Fulham there I did yeah oh. they they struggled at the start like I thought they would but they picked up recently which I didn't actually think they would do to be fair to them I thought they'd have a similar problem to last time in the frame where they just couldn't stop conceding where this time they, he seems to work on that parker and he's got them going at the back and now they're oh, picking yeah. up yeah, he's doing, like, doing better than I thought. Yeah, he's doing better than I thought he would, Scott Parker. I think they've only got to win what, one of their games in hand, don't they? And they're out of the relegation zone as well. Yeah, this one's for Brighton, don't they? Yeah, yeah, just looking here, and they've yeah. got two games in hand on Brighton, three points behind. Yeah. So, yeah, they've uh, 
still well in it, aren't they, Fulham? Fair play to them. Yeah. But yeah, not bad that then. You started well. Me and Jack had a bit of a stinker. <laughs> uh, and your 18th prediction's not bad either. You've got, you had Brighton. Uh, who had, it's look, looking good for that one. Looking good, yeah. I'm shocked at that one. I thought Brighton would have a, a decent season, but the home form's horrendous. I was reading the other day, they've only had one win at the Amex, I think, this uh, the, the last calendar year. Yeah, it's poor, isn't it? The goal, their goal scoring <clears> problems, <throat> their issue for them, they just they scored three yesterday, but other games you just don't really see where anything's coming from. They've got Trossard, but he's hit and miss. Mope in and out of the squad when Potter decides to play him. It's just it's a confusing one, and then if they don't score any, you just know they're going to concede at some point. Yeah, that's it. And um, I, do you know what I found weird? I, Matt Ryan all of a sudden is surplus to requirements. Isn't it? They say he can leave in January. Right out, yeah. I yeah, didn't which, get that because he's been quality for them. Yeah, I don't get it. But they're after your number two, United, aren't they? Or number three, is he? Um, who's your number three keeper now? Romero. Yeah, Romero's been linked with Brighton. Yeah. Romero, he, yeah, he's not even our number four at the moment because he's not in the Prem squad. <laughs> is he not? Oh, number five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lee, Lee Grant. Yeah, Henderson, Lee, Lee Grant, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's well, got to be a low in your career, hasn't it? Well, is he below Lee, Lee Grant? He yeah, is, yeah. He's not, in a, he's not in our Prem or European squad, Romero. He's just completely <laughs> out. My God. Bad, isn't it? I don't even know if he trained. I haven't seen photos of him with the first team since we got back. Well, soon I don't as actually know that where he is. Out, he's probably, he's probably disappeared, <laughs> hasn't he? I don't actually know where he is at the moment. Um, and then, we yeah. Now, um... I'll tell you, I never went through... Uh, I had West Ham in 18th, but in 19th, my other relegation, I had Palace. Oh, did you? I did, yeah. yeah but um, I, 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 I still think I still, that, I still think that's a valid prediction, to be honest, at the start of the season. But, you know, it, it all depends on... It, I think it was quite reliant on, on how good their new signings were going to do, wasn't it? I mean, we did talk up their new signings a little bit at the start of the season. We did, as uh, we said, didn't we? Sure we said. Yeah, Eze. and he's been, he's been quality, to be fair. He has. That goal he scored at um, weekend, that was quality, weren't it? Yeah, Sheffield United. Yeah. I don't know what the defence were doing, but... Um, and just when you think that's the worst relegation prediction of the three, we had to... Uh... <laughs> I was skipping my one. <laughs> we had over to Jack again. <laughs> um, Aston Villa. Yeah, I'll well, hold my hands up, mate. All right. Got it a bit wrong. We all get things wrong. It's not going to happen. We've, we've had stinkers on these relegations, me and you. Ben's done all right with this. Right in Fulham and West Brom. That's that's acceptable. Me and you, what, though. What I will say, what I will say, I did base it on how well Watkins was going to do. I did say at the time, if Ollie Watkins comes up and does and and does bang them in, then I can see them doing quite a bit better than they have done. I mean, not based on Ollie Watkins, but I think, yeah, it's probably just a bit naive to the fact that they that they were quite a new squad last season. Um, I have had my reservations about Dean Smith as a manager, but again, proving me wrong, he's doing a lot better than than I thought he would do. Um, Eric Conza's doing obviously very well. He's bit built on last season, doing brilliantly, um, and they're doing a lot better than I presumed they would. I've been shocked by Villa. I think everyone else. Who'd have expected them to be up in seven? Yeah, Madness, fine, aren't they? Grealish in particular, I mean, he's been class again. He's been quality, yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, you're going to come in for him better now. Rumoured to, but again, I don't see where he's, he's a quality player, but just so many would be in midfield if he joins us. It's, it, I mean, it's good, comp- it's good fight for places, but then you've also got the problem of they're going to be sold because people aren't in the match, match day squad. Not playing. You it's a big risk the... for him as well, isn't it? Leaving Villa, well, yeah, he's com- you look comfortable all the at Villa. Of Van der Beek not playing all the time. I can't think Green yeah. is staying at Villa. I think if, if they're going to... I don't see... If they finish in a high position, you see, you really have much of a reason to leave. I mean... Yeah, I they get I... like European football with his boy club. You'd think he'd stay That's for yeah, that just... season at least, wouldn't you? And I don't I think, think he's... I don't... I don't think he'll benefit being at a club as well where he's not the main man. I think he thrives on being the main man at Villa. Yeah. I think that's Zaha, just... isn't it? It'd be a different yeah, that, feeling that's where he's going to play best. Um, and then 17th, I'll tell you what, Jack, it don't get better, my friend, for you. <laughs> <laughs> it don't get better for me. But you've got West Brom, aren't you, 17th? Yeah, that's not that bad, is it? They could still stay up. 
I hope not. They'll, they'll do it. I don't think that's awful. <laughs> it's not awful, though, but I, I think West Brom are dying. Right, I think well, that, I think, steady on, then. I think West Brom and Sheffield United are dying. I mean, we'll come more to Sheffield United later because we're talking about stinkers now. Just wait until mm-hmm. that comes up. Uh, yeah. But I think I think West Brom have got. It's not too bad. I've probably been a bit harsh. No, I mean, I mean harsh. to be honest, when when Allardyce came in, I, I you know I, I I don't know. I thought he I thought he could do something. I mean, he might he still might do a bit of an Allardyce thing in January and go. And he might sign one or two that that do pick a few results yeah. up. But I, I do agree. I do I do think they're probably down. Do you know? I feel a bit of a tick now because I just realised that I had him in seventeenth as well. <laughs> Probably. I've just realised I forgot I put him in 17. I weren't thinking. I think I got mixed up because I had West Ham. Professional as ever. Yeah, <laughs> professional as ever. We always are on this podcast. We're always professional as ever. Um, yeah, so I had him in 17 as well. So there you go. I suppose it isn't too bad, is it? Only two places like that. Um, and then Ben weren't happy with yours at the time. Still, <laughs> but it was fairly accurate. You had Burnley 17. Yeah, um, I thought there's a lot of stronger teams above you, but you normally find a way to get gritty results when you need to. And now you yeah. might actually have some money in this transfer window. Yeah, happy place to have more, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I thought that makes appearance at some point. I'm, I'm, done with, I'm done with sort of assuming Burnley are going to go down now. I'm just waiting for the match goes, and then we can do that. <laughs> it, I'll tell you what, I were a bit concerned early doors, and it's got a little bit better now. Um, you know, I think the owners come at the up, right time as well. You picked up your results against Arsenal and Wolves came at the right time. We did, and Sheffield United as well. Good and that one, you, yeah. As soon as you face the big boys, you just come up short, don't you? Moving on. Yeah, if you could fancy that on the 12th of January, that'd be ideal. 12th of January, yeah, man, that's for your range game, isn't it? Uh, speak, while we're on Burnley, I may as well, because Jack, you had him in 16, just one above. Sorry, um, at the minute. Where are Bernie at the minute? And yeah, well, yeah, fair enough. No, actually, I'm being serious. Where are they? We are 16. So you've got oh, you are 16. Right, so yeah. I've got that. As as it stands, that's spot on. Then fair enough. As it stands, that's spot on. So that's that's yeah, that's off to you for that one. I didn't realise you'd got you'd actually got one spot on. Um, <laughs> he's turning around. Um, <laughs> I can't remember who's now putting 16. Now Newcastle. Not too yeah, bad. It. That's probably that's. Probably quite accurate come the end of the season. Newcastle 15th now. Um, mm. If we win our game in hand, we'll be against Man United. If we beat Man United 4 0, we go above them. I'm saying you'd be staying below them then. <laughs> we win 4 0. You won't see me again if you win 4 0. <laughs> I don't think you'll see your dad again, will you, Ben? <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, I'm, I'm happy with that one. I'm happy with Newcastle. Not as good as, as Jack getting Burnley spot on, but. Not too bad. Um, next up with you, Ben, as well. You went quite low down with Villa. You had Villa in 16. Yeah, I underestimated them as well. I think like a lot of us, it was a case of with their new signings click because obviously last time in the first season, they went out and bought loads and it didn't work. But fair play to him. He's got his recruitment a lot better this time. I think Martinez has been one of their biggest signings. He's, He's coming a great in. signing, hasn't he? Got the most clean sheets in the Premier League. He gets them moving from the back a lot quicker. He's always looking to distribute it as quick as he can. <laughs> I think that's it's given them a solid base to then go build on when they score. You don't always think they're going to concede if they do go 1-0 up. Yeah. Right. Did he sign? Yeah. Did he sign what he did this? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Right, there you go. That's that's another point for me then. That's why <laughs> oh, we're not having that. <laughs> not having that. Claiming that, yeah. But they've also got when they go down, you still don't think they're out of it. You look when they came to us the other day, one one nil down, the heads don't drop, whereas they did last season, the heads dropped and you knew you had them. As this yeah. time he's got better signings and their mentality mentality's a lot better. Yeah, I mean they've been more than anyone could have expected, aren't they? Probably even Villa fans. Yeah. Well they've gone toe to toe. With the top sides in the league, they beat Liverpool 7 2. That were an unbelievable day of football. That, that was Liverpool. the same day as United Spurs, weren't it? Six I don't months. remember that game. <laughs> Didn't happen. Um, 16 for you then, Jack. Palace, you asked, which we've already talked about. Um, decent prediction that so far. The 14th, you went with 16. So you've had uh, better than me. 
better than yeah, the other think, well, I think that was because I was just, I think I said at the time, I was just a big fan of Eze. And I yeah. Really yeah. Well. We can, um, that's something we got right, at least, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Zaha, Zaha, Zaha's still carrying him as, as he always will. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're doing what they need to do. I still think, I don't think they're safe from a relegation scrap. They could easily get sucked into one, but I think I thought they've got more than enough to be out of that. They shouldn't have too much to worry about. Yeah, you had them in 15, sorry, didn't you? Not 16. Yeah, yeah. Um, and same with you, Ben, I believe. 15. Yeah, I them Crystal 15 Palace as well. Yeah, yeah they're well, a hit, hit and miss. Are, are they? If you've got Zaha and Eze turn up, they're class. If they don't, oh. you worry for them. That's, well, forgetting yeah. Ben Tete, who's been unbelievable. Hey, he's turned up this season, hasn't he? He's turned up. He's come out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, is that Ben Tete? Yeah, he's banging them in, isn't he? Not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> it's just a bit, a bit of a bit of a wardrobe, isn't it? Just... Well, when did he score against you, Dom? Let's get it out in the open. <laughs> I think he has scored against Burnley once. A penalty, I think. He got a got a few years back. Um but no, I am not a big fan of his, to be honest. I I had us in fifteen, Burnley. And at the time I was being optimistic with fifteen. <laughs> I was I was thinking we're gonna be struggling. So that's not too bad. Sixteen. We'll soon be um We'll soon be flying up the table, I'm sure, with an investment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then next up after Burnley, I went with Villa. So I didn't do great. I'm in 14. Obviously, we've talked about him. Not a lot we can say. It's been unbelievable, aren't they? <laughs> no one expected it. Jack, you had Southampton next up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which, which, yeah, I mean... It's a bit dodgy. It's a bit dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I underestimated... Um... Underestimated old Ralph. He did. Yeah, but no, Ralph, no, they're, no, they're doing well. Uh, Ings, Ings is uh, still putting him in. Shay Adams has actually had a bit of a better season as well. Um, and I think, but to be honest, I think ultimately in this season, it's been their defence. It's been so solid. It's us, yeah, yeah. Even when, yeah, even when they don't score, like at least keep him out the other end. And when Ings has been, Ings has been injured now and again, hasn't he? But he's kicked on as well as Ings again. Um, Palace for you, Ben. I think next up. Uh, what he talked Palace. about, Alan Morgan says that Ben Teke has been a, a genius, apparently. <laughs> um, back to his best. Back to his, back to his best. <laughs> um, yeah, you had Palace and then West Ham. Two who were in my relegation, so you've done better than me there. Yeah, West Ham were an interesting one. They West, West started off slowly and then Boyd went off and they sort of picked up from there. Yeah, because me, me and Jack had them to, to go down. Yeah, uh, I always felt their squad was too go, good to go down because if you've done badly, they just brought someone else in and got them going again. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a strange one, isn't it, there? West Ham. David Moyes, I thought it weren't the right decision to bring him back, but doing I, I, they've got to be happy with that, haven't they? I think West Ham being 10th. It yeah. worked, worked a lot better than everyone thought it was going to fall them. What didn't help my West Ham prediction was that on that day I saw a video of them defending in pre-season <laughs> just saying West Ham are going to be a laugh this year. So that, to that... Be fair, Yeah, to be fair, when we filmed it as well, Noble had been on Twitter saying something because of mm. that Diane Garner yeah. sale. Oh, yeah, yeah, he won it. So, he was it. I think we can He's defend that. ourselves a bit on this one. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it weren't too bad. 13th place, is, you had Newcastle Jack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're in fifteenth at the minute, aren't they? They're, yeah, yeah. I, I, I still, I expect them to finish anywhere between twelfth and sixteenth, really. Um, they're one. To be honest, they were one of the worst that I've seen us play this year. If I'm being honest. Yeah, I, I remember you saying to me that they were worst team. I didn't, I didn't think much of them. But I just, I, I, I don't think Newcastle fans really are that happy with Bruce, are they? I don't. I think let's be honest. I don't think they're that happy with him. So. I think they need to drop their expectations, Newcastle fans. Cause... Yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, look, if they, I don't, I don't, you know, are, are they a squad that should be finishing above where they are? Probably not. Not really. They're, it's not the best of squads that they've got. Um, but I, yeah, I, I think Bruce Bruce is a good enough manager to be keeping them in the league. But if they want to be going further than that, then yeah, they probably need to be looking elsewhere. I think I do understand them. Like they went from Rafa Benitez to Steve Bruce. Didn't they? I think, which is, it's not amazing, is it? I mean, we we went to Brian Laws in the Premier League, 
So, uh, 13 for us, Ben. This will be one for you again, Jack, really. Leeds, um, we went in 13. I think I remember saying I would take it piss a bit about a certain striker at Leeds. He won't have goals in him. Um, <laughs> and he's done all right, actually. Yeah, a few dodgy penalties here and there. That won the prize in his car, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't, didn't I've been crying in the car. Point help. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> not bad though. The, the 12th lead, so we're only a place off. I, yeah, were hoping, I were hoping we'd be wrong on this one and they'd be down there in the bottom three. <laughs> it was the one I'd have taken well if we'd be been wrong, but <laughs> they've done about what we expected to. They've beat the bottom half of the teams. It's when they go to the top half that style gets caught out a bit, I think. The big teams and the top managers know what he's going to do, so they'll just sit off and wait for the gaps to appear. Yeah, a bit of it. Crit- I've seen people critical of that, Jack. I was, I was a Leeds fan with Bielsa um, when he doesn't change his style, sort of against people are saying, Should he? I mean, to be fair, against us, I was surprised. That's the first time I've seen you, and I actually thought you did change your style a bit against Burnley. No, we, no, we did against Burnley, but we always, we always play three at the back against two strikers, which is what we did against Burnley. Yeah. And yeah, that, that, that did make it. I know to be honest, defensively, that is where we're always better when we play three at the back. Um, I was I was impressed with your defense in general. Yeah, yes, Ailing and Ailing and Phillips in particular. But we needed that because the, to be honest, we have been unlucky with the fact that when we have played the teams such as Chelsea, United, Spurs, we we are we are, we are very short on centre backs at the minute, injury wise. Um, um, I don't think you know. If we if we had all our centre backs fit, would we have lost by as much as we have been against the big teams? I don't think we would have. But yeah, I understand why people are saying about the style and this, that, and the other. Because yeah, you look at it against Burnley where we changed the style and yeah, defensively we were fantastic. You are very good to watch. A lot of people have said one of the most entertaining teams aren't you to watch this season? Because you more or less always guaranteed goals. Yeah. Yeah, well, we've scored just as many as we've conceded, haven't we, pretty much, though? <laughs> That's it, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit harsh when people say, like, Bielsa's style being being to blame, like. Um, but I can see it. I can see why. Uh, 12th place, I had Leicester. I think, I, well, I, I know, because I look back at the video, I also said Brendan Rodgers would be the first manager to get sacked. <laughs> oh, you did as well, didn't you? I did. So... I, have, oh, I think this first is, one this for you, mate. Let's go. This, yeah, now it's Jack's <laughs> time to have to take the mick out of me because the third, <laughs> uh, yeah, third in the league. I don't know why I put them there. I don't know why I put them in twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, fair play to them. They've done, <laughs> They've done a lot better than that, haven't they? Back up in third. Could could still win league yet. But I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. He's just doing what Brendan Rodgers does, isn't he? A lot of stuff. Doing really well. They're just so good going forward, aren't they? Like Harvey oh, Barnes yeah. seems to be improving this season as well. So you've got other players yeah. chipping in with goals. Madison and Barnes linking up together. I was watching them against Newcastle today. Um, their link-up play together is just fantastic. It is, it is. I, to be fair, though, I, I've, it's a poor shout from me, but none of us have done well on 12th. No, I've just looked at mine. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ben, you want to tell us yours? I had Chef United. Yeah. Which... Who would put Chef United that high? <laughs> I know, ridiculous to think they could finish so high. I don't know. Yeah, it's not. I, did, I knew they, they wouldn't pick up some of the results that they got last season, but I didn't think they'd struggle like they have been doing. I think we said when we recorded last time that goals might be an issue, but well, they had so many really results, didn't they, last year? Yeah, yeah, they're on the, they're on the wrong side. Such far margins in the Prem, isn't it? Because I remember when side. we. We played them second game and beat them one 0 and they could have easily beaten us. Like they had so many chances in the first half. And then the second half, we took off and, and won the game. But I think that's that. Those narrow margins are just going in the wrong way from this year. Yeah, they are. I think they're yeah. missing Henderson as well this season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ramsdale's coming. He's been. He's had some good moments and some poor moments. 
Yeah, I think oh, connell has been been a bigger miss. I think injury what he's yeah, like, injured, yeah. isn't he? Mm, yeah. Uh, I think they've really missed him. Uh, I do feel a bit for Ramsdale, a little bit. I, I know it's he's facing harsh criticism at times. I think that's just because mm. they've been so poor in general that they just end up picking on the keeper. Yeah, it's it's, it's a tough position. You make a mistake, it's going to go in. It is two points after seventeen games. Oh, geez, surely they can't come back from that. Derby 7 8 are licking the lips. By far the worst start in Premier League history, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The worst so, yeah. Derby side. Yeah. Derby of um I know that Derby went on a 32 game great win, but that were like that weren't at the start of the season. They got a win quite early on, I think, Derby. And then yeah, it, yeah, yeah. they had 32 games. So I, know, I can't it's see where they get a win from. It'll be interesting to see what happens when they get their first win, what it does. It will, yeah, they might. Turn it around there. Eh? Great escape. Can't see it. We're, we're <laughs> that Leicester season. I, I don't think there's any point in him uh, sacking Wilder, though. Because no. that, that team, it's going down anyway, isn't it? Team's going down, I think. Yeah, there's just, there's no goals in it, is there? No, well, Brewster's not, not pushed on, has he? He, he ain't coming and. No, I think on, commentators really. said it the other day with what it's feel like 25 million or the thing. They were yeah. like, it's all right for the future, but they need something for the now. They can't be pl- planning three years ahead. They need something to stay up now, really. And he's yeah. already said he's not going to get the funds this month to help with that. Yeah, so... Yeah, I think they're screwed, to be perfectly honest. I don't think there's yeah, any so you're looking around. Um, 12th, Jack, you had Brighton, which yeah. we've, we've touched on, haven't we, really? Everything about them. I just uh, I thought that. Thought they'd kick on a lot from last year, and I, I thought with more pay getting, he got hit double figures last year. I thought he'd do that again. He may well, he probably still will actually. He could, he could still do that. I think they've got an abundance of centre backs that they don't know what to do with them. Um, to the extent where we often see a, a seven and a half foot Dan Burn on the left, <laughs> um, seven and a half. <laughs> but then we've got. And then I thought Ben White would be an incredible addition for him, but then they're playing him in centre mid. Yeah, I, there's some strange decisions, got, isn't there? They've got centre backs coming out the backside, and I don't think they know what to do with them all. <laughs> no, but they, they, but yeah, they are ultimately struggling with goals, and that that I know, as I say, they scored three against Wolves, but they had that. That's why they've struggled with results early on this season because they, they weren't scoring. Um, I, I think that yeah, but they'll, they'll they'll be all right this season. I think Brighton. Um, but I, I, yeah, I, I just thought they, I thought, I really thought they would go on and finish mid table this year. And they may still will. They may still do that. Yeah, well, I had them, I had them an next spot, 11th at Brighton. I, I did well, say actually at the time, I think any of these teams in the bottom like, bottom half could finish anywhere in the bottom half. Oh, it's, it's so hard to predict. It is. It's so yeah. hard to predict the bottom half compared to the top. You can usually get the top end. Well, that's been a bit different this season, hasn't it? Um, yeah, so Brighton not not really succeeded. Eleventh spot for you, Jack. You had Sheffield. This is where Sheffield United coming into it, I think. Yeah, was, again, no different to what what Ben said. Yeah, Just the narrow margins not going their way, um, and I think the early results at the start of the season is where they've just not picked up a win. I think they needed that first win uh, in the first sort of five games. They needed to get that first win to give them the confidence to <clears> keep. <throat> uh, the longer that you go with that first win. It's just the confidence drops and drops and drops, um, and the, unfortunately for them, that, that first win just has it still hasn't come after seventeen games, um, and they're in big. I trouble. can't see. I just can't see where they're going to get a point. I uh, just can't see where they're going to get anything. Look at them teams around, and like I said, they just haven't got a goal scorer, have they? Um, I mean, they've scored less goals than Burnley. That says something. <laughs> we very rarely score. I was so annoyed about that lead score being chalked off. Still not let that one go. Robert Jones still living in his head. <laughs> I feel like he's moved in. I honestly feel like he's moved in my house. <laughs> did you see, did you, he refered, just, just before we move on with this, refereed again today, Robert Jones, didn't he? He touched the ball more times than half the team in the first half. He touched the ball three times. Couldn't get out yeah, of I, some, I saw someone say he was the new centre mid in the game. Honestly, the amount of touches he had of that ball. <laughs> Surprised he didn't take your penalty. <laughs> um. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, tenth spot. Then we're getting to the top ten. Jack, you went with Leeds in tenth. 
Um, not uh, too far off. 12. Got to be happy with that, I suppose, this season back in the Prem so far. Yeah, that's like, yeah, I, mean, I, I think we'll finish anywhere from 10th to 15th, really. <laughs> yeah, finish. I think you said that at the time, didn't you? Said yeah. It with... yeah, I, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with our start um, because it's like Ben said, we have, yeah, we have been losing to all the, the big teams, but fortunately for us, we have been beating the ones below us. Um, and that, that's, to be honest, is the minimum you've got to do to stay up when you, when, when you come into this league. And we, we've done the minimum of what's asked for us, I'd say, so far. Um, injuries have really haven't helped us, but you know, and you know, we've got we got Spain's number nine playing in centre mid for us at the minute, so which also doesn't help, in my opinion. Um, but <laughs> yeah, true, no. yeah, you have had a few injuries to be fair, nobody yeah. thinks about that, do they? No, I mean, we've got one arguably two senior defenders at the minute, also doesn't help, but anyway, yeah, I, th- I think anywhere from 10th to 15th, and I'll be happy. Yeah, you've got to be at your kick on next season, then if you can get yeah. higher than that. Uh, ten for me, Southampton. It's only only place off. Not too bad a prediction. Yeah, it's not. Uh, yeah, done well, haven't they, this season again? Kicked off like I did you as well, Ben. Didn't you ten for Southampton? Yeah, I had them the same in them. I think we based it a lot on what Danny Ings was going to do. Yeah, yeah. Che Adams, well, like, Adams has picked up, hasn't he? What a season he's having. He, he's picked up the slack when Ings has been injured, which last season he didn't do. Does and then defensively, well. they've looked. Yeah, so defensively, they've looked a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, he's done well. We, we were linked with him before he went there. So yeah, you was, wasn't you? Another one I'm upset about. It. <laughs> um, now I'm spot Ben. You went with Leicester. Yeah, oh, so I underestimated them me. as well. I thought they might have still had a hangover from last season of mm. missing out on the Champions League. And then whether the Euro- Europa League fixtures would hamper them a bit, but. They've, they've just been flying. They've basically gone back to how they were at the start of last season. Yeah, the they re- restarted over the summer and they just kicked off again. The defense, what, is, what is Vardy going to lose that pace? He doesn't lose it. <laughs> it's, his instinct of pace never disappears. And then in defence, Justin and Fafana come out of nowhere. Yeah, they've made it all that surprise. So every, time they sell, every time they sell someone, they just find just, yeah, they've somewhere. They've got someone else just to go. Yeah. It's unbelievable. The production isn't it? line ready to go again. It is. Like you think they've missed they've missed Soy Chicken and Didi for large parts of the season, and it's not even bothered them. No, like I say, it's just like they've got a long list, isn't it? Best transfer yeah. business in, in the world. <laughs> and now they've got their new got training facilities, wire. which are world class. Yeah. Oh, they look smart. Yeah, you had to be nice as well, didn't you, Jack? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, 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 I mean, like, there's long. There's still a long way to go. They could still finish anywhere, couldn't they? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so tight from first to like ninth, tenth. It's it unbelievable. Is, yeah. Now I'm spot. I went with Wolves. Um, Wolves are in thirteenth. Yeah. They look right down, haven't they? Yeah, not been brilliant, have they? Uh, inconsistent, I think the word with Wolves this season. Yeah, that, the loss of Jimenez hasn't helped, but they, that, but yeah, I don't. They've become a bit predictable, I think, at times. Mm, they're missing yeah, Jimenez badly at the moment. Yeah, they are missing him and there's, don't know where he's going to be back either, do we, really? With that bad of an injury. Um, like, so you don't know whether he will be back after such a thing. And Traore hasn't. Um, he's gone back to his old ways, really, hasn't he? Good at getting into positions, but it's his end product. Callum, can you go? They don't know where to play him, do they, I don't think, as well. Mm, yeah, I mean, he's without goal now. He went they're all right. of last, all of 2020 without a Callum to go, I think, I so. saw. I just don't know if they know whether they want to play him like wing back or on the wing itself. I don't know. They've switched it between it a lot, haven't they? Mm. He's better as an out and out winger, I'd have said. Wing back, yeah. it, you're pushing him too far back, aren't you, for a counter attack, with, even with his pace? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it seems like he's so much more to give than he does. Hopefully, he'll reach mm. that one day. But he seemed to be doing, didn't he? Last season, he showed signs of it. Yeah, he he's gone back to, to his old words. Like- fixed his end product and now it's gone back a bit I think you look yeah. at their result yesterday against Brighton that doesn't happen last season yeah they don't yeah. let a two goal lead drop like that to a relegation fighting team yeah that's it and um, next up in eighth Everton we had a few Evertons here didn't we I think you two yeah, yeah. I had in eighth which I think that's probably where they'll finish in my opinion to be fair do you think yeah do you not think they can push for um, Europe I don't know I, I think the likes of I think that's like you know you look at what's ahead of them at the minute, City, Spurs, 
<laughs> etc. I don't know. It, it all depends on how much they kick on. It all depends on Chelsea below them. You know how many points and more points they're going to pick up. Um, I don't know. They could they could finish it. Yeah, they could finish from fourth to eighth. I think. Everton, yeah, it's a it? tough tough one to call because Chelsea look. Chelsea have been dire, aren't they recently? Yeah, but Ever- Everton. Um, are- Brilliant. They have been very good. And to be honest, they have been better than I actually thought they would be. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought when they did, they got some good players in, didn't they, Everton? So I thought they'd do all right. Um, do we have? Do I have to say my eighth spot? Yes, you do. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's a great um, one. It's, uh, it's the Blades. <laughs> oh, oh, well done. <laughs> well, at least we, at least me and Ben had them in the, had them in the bottom half, I think. Yeah, got them and, uh, half, at least. Chef United in eighth. And I said on one podcast <laughs> that Ollie McBurney was going to score 15 goals minimum. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting him mixed up with Bamford. What a strange way to end the podcast, eh? <laughs> um, I don't know what I don't know what possessed me. Well, to be fair, I don't know. They finished ninth last season, didn't they? And I said, oh, they'll finish a place higher this year. They'll kick on. And um, oh, the, really signings, the signings haven't been good enough for, for Sheffield United. It's not really started yet, has it? That kicking on period. <laughs> um, yeah, two points. Which I mean, I didn't expect them to be that bad, but I, I took a risk at the time, and I thought I'm gonna I'm backing Sheffield United this year. And it's I apologise to Sheffield United. I'll give you the kiss of death with that one. Um, seven spot. This is where I had Everton. So there's one above you two. Like yeah. Jack said, it's hard to choose, isn't it, with these lot up here? Mm. Fourth to eighth, it's a bit of a lottery. I, I don't know why I'm laughing, actually. I've got a bit of a blunder coming up after this, but go on. Have you? I'll have to keep looking. I'm so missed on that. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I just, I, I don't have much to add to what you two said, really. Um, so I've just seen your blunder. We've all got a blunder coming up. <laughs> yeah, um, coming up. yeah uh, Everton. I just think they're a good team, but they are a bit inconsistent. Conceding a lot of goals, weren't they? I think I saw some early conceding. They conceding like every other game, weren't they, or something? But mm. Pickford's a bit dodgy. England's number two. And the squad depth for Everton as well isn't the best. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But uh, Ancelotti's done well, though. He's, I went to his first game, um, Boxing Day, it were, of, not last year, not year before. And since then, He's got them well. To, like, they were, I think they were seventeenth that day going into that game. Yeah. So he has he has transformed them. To say, in just over twelve months, he's done a good job there. Oh yeah. Um, and Jack, next up for you, seventh place, Arsenal. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're coming to a bit, aren't they? <laughs> they're coming to a bit. I, 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 I've, I've, I've actually got a feeling Arsenal will finish. I, I think Arsenal finish in the top half this year. I still think they will. Um, I think they could finish top half, yeah. I, they're not going to. They're not going to finish seventh. I don't think they're going to finish in the top eight. But I, I think they can. I think they will snatch like ninth or tenth spot this year. And if they do, that's not actually that bad. But yeah, I, I, they just had the one. Yeah, an absolutely torrid start for an Arsenal team. Yeah, it's not been um, ideal, has it? I mean, they're picking up now. That was funny against Burnley when Aubameyang scored. Couldn't score for weeks. Got a goal, but it wrong net. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Arteta actually. To be fair, I look at Chelsea and Lampard, and I'm, I just don't think Lampard's that big, that good of a manager. But Arteta, at least you can see, he's been trying to build something there. There's, there's, there's a style. A, yeah, there's more of a style at Arsenal, I believe, than there is at Chelsea. I think mm. there is. Yeah, I think there is. In fact, we all had we all had Arsenal sevens, I think, on this one. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we did. We didn't do too bad with that one. For once. No, I, I think, think we goals of. Probably hampered them there. Yeah, they think, yeah. What, Aubameyang, why did they play him at wing as well? Don't understand. I it. don't get that. Why did they put him out wide? I mean, he hasn't been much better, has he? Down middle, to be fair. But <laughs> yeah, uh, really. then into top six. Um, yeah. This is where I went with Spurs, I think. Yeah. No. I just yeah, looked I at mine. It's not great. Where have you gone with Ben? I went Got with Wolves at six. Yeah, I've got Wolves as well. Ooh, dodgy. <laughs> That's dodgy, actually. Yeah. It's not I thought, dodgy, with, I, thought without, I thought without Europa, they'd be a lot better. But Yeah, and if Jimenez doesn't get injured, I think that's like, they probably do push that a bit. So, 
Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. That new lad's come in, but 18 year old thrust into a new league. That's a tough ask. I've, I've got them, to be mixed up there. I didn't have Arsenal in seventh, actually. I had them in six. So Arsenal was our 16. Who did you have seventh then? Everton. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've got a bit, I've got a bit mixed up there. I, I thought there were only one team that we all had to save, and that's Spurs in fifth. We all went for Spurs in fifth. Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, you two's had a bit of a stinker there with Wolves, but we'll move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, try, I'm trying not to look smug when I said that. Uh, so next up, we United. all had this. We all had Spurs. Uh, it was fourth. We had them in fifth. Um, City win the game in hand though, and they'll go above them. So yeah, well, they've done more or less what we it's thought. About what you, it's about what you expect from Spurs. Isn't it? They went up to first at one point. They sort of dropped down a bit. And sort of had those weird, inconsistent games that you sort of associate with Spurs. But Mourinho, yeah. you can see the changes he has made with them defensively. Much to some of their fans' annoyance with Harry Kane dropping to almost like a centre mid at times. Yeah, yeah. it's worked, hasn't it, a bit? But it has worked for him and Son are just and Son, lethal. Yeah. I, I, I do also think that Hoiberg's the best signing of the window. Yeah. He's been quality for He's them. He's just outstanding. I've been watching him against Leeds this week and as well, he was outstanding. Um, what it's what they needed, didn't it, Spurs? They needed that yeah. player. Like he is that. a Mourinho player, him, isn't he? Mm. Get out and out. Yeah, but, uh, but they've had the problem. We were Sorry, battling yeah. them for a while, and then you just but you always you always know that they've just got that one pass to Son and it's in. <clears throat> yeah, and that's what they did. Yeah, oh, but he has been a good. You've got a point there. He could be one of the signings of the season, could he? Yeah, uh, arguably when you look around. Um, but yeah, Spurs in, Spurs in fourth. Mourinho, been a lot of... He won't be happy this week though, Mourinho. Have you seen about the COVID? Three players um, pitching yeah, at the park. Weren't happy. He weren't happy in his press conference yesterday, was he? Um, How thick are some of these players? Because <laughs> like, it's just, it's just... I don't know. I just don't get it. They, everyone has a mobile phone for a start. Some of them are actually posting themselves on like Instagram or whatever all the girlfriends are and it's like what do you expect yeah it's, it's why do it in the first place and then don't take photos of it because it's going to go out somewhere wasn't Lanzini there as well I think he was there yeah he yeah was Lanzini there. Was Spurs and him. you've got Mitrovic has, has been at one with Mil- Milovic is it at Palace Milovic, you think? Yeah. Mendy's yeah. been caught up in a storm today well yeah, oh, oh, Mendy, yeah. Mendy, yeah. Mendy's a, he's in Mendy's trouble he's in trouble time. Mendy yeah he's been he's think, in trouble with they, it um, I think Man City have hit the final straw with Mendy now. I think so, yeah. Do you know what? So many I don't rate him anywhere. I don't think he's that good. Um, well, the, the, so, the source is saying that they, they've had enough with him now because they're not happy with his behaviour off the pitch for a while. Well, I think fair enough. It's his own fault, isn't it? You know, he's, he's, he's always doing stupid things. And this is... I just can't believe they're doing it, players. I mean, do they not think they're going to get caught out? And like no. Ben said, it doesn't matter about if you get caught or not, really, does it? He shouldn't be doing it anywhere. Right, yeah. It's just yeah. stupid. Um, so then top four, we're going to... Ben, you have Chelsea in fourth. I did, yeah. Which I is uh, at the time for it. Yeah, Chelsea down to eighth now. It's, it's, yeah, it, yeah it's sort of... They had some, they've had so many issues I thought they would, not quite to the extent they're having at the moment of their new yeah. players not fully settling in. Like, Mendy's coming, he's been good for them. Thiago Silva, Chilwell, the back of in class. It's the ones going forward. You look at yeah. how much they spent on Havertz, and he's currently sitting on the bench, not getting a game. Yeah. Werner's, he had, he's got, he's had patches, Werner. He's been odd. He's had patches where he's looked back to his best, and then other times where he's just not there. That's it. Yeah, the attack is not done enough. And, and even though Thiago Silva hasn't been bad, he can have the odd. <laughs> Some games I watch him and I think he's been picked up off Sunday League. Yeah, his debut wasn't a great start for him, was it? I didn't think he was great today. First half I watched that Chelsea City game. Um, yeah, weren't impressed. But Chilwell's been good. Chilwell's been decent for him. Yeah, he's been quality. Uh, yeah, he's been we, had, we had them in third, Jack, didn't we, me and you? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, mean, I just don't think that... I, I I don't get this. I, I know there's the argument of their new new players put together and, and stuff like that, but they finished in the top four last year, and you know there should be there should be just building on that. But they've they've the policy at the club is just outrageous in my opinion this this year. 
because it is, well, yeah, they, 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 something's got to be asked, hasn't it? The question's got to be asked soon because they spent a fortune. Yeah, but, you know, they, they'll do well to get in the top six because <laughs> they're not in, they're not in a good on a good run. I think they'll get they'll get top six, but they they're not on a good run at all, and it just it, there's just no identity in, in the way they play whatsoever. That's the big thing, isn't it? We've already mentioned it. Like we Arsenal, although they were playing crap, let's not lie. Um, but you could see it was, at least there was something there, weren't they? They were. Yeah, he was trying to do something. Whereas the- some players were coming out backing him as well. You had Tierney. I think he said a few about a month ago. He said we've got a great manager and we're letting him down, sort of thing. So I think they they've never gone like I don't know Chelsea. I just don't think Lampard's up to it personally. No, I, I don't. I think he's completely out of his depth. To be honest. Mm. It's a big time, first job, yeah. isn't it? Signing all these players with big, right, much, second, second much bigger personalities than he had last year, and he, he, I don't, he doesn't know where to put all these players. He doesn't know what to do with them. The price yeah. has brought a lot of pressure, is not it? It's Over two hundred million. It's gonna, it brings its pressure with it of you need a result. Yeah, I think he is feeling the pressure, and he's on such a bad run now. Um. I wouldn't surprise me if they don't make top six. Look at it. Look at it how they play at the minute. Mm. Uh, ben, you had them other way around. So you had Chelsea fourth, Man U third. You must be pleased at the minute with United. Uh, yeah, I backed us from the start. I didn't think we'd quite be in the position we are at the moment, but you just felt it was about time the squad was due to click. And at the moment, touch wood, it is doing Bruno's mm. leading us on the charge. Yeah, no, Ollie's... Signings are- Signs coming. Cavani's worked quite. He's coming off the bench. He's helped us. Southampton game. He saved us. I think just the experience of a few of them and a bit more calmness in some of them. I think our midfield's helped a lot. You look what we used to have and what we now have when we play yeah. Bruno Pogba. McTominay and Fred have stepped up again this season. Yeah, it's been a big difference. I saw a picture earlier of um, Lingard going off for Pereira. And then I saw a picture of Bernard Fernandez going off for Van der Beek. It's, uh, it's yeah, like a bit he, of gets a lot of, it. he gets a lot of stick, Solskjaer, but the work he's done with him, like, I, I don't know, I can't remember how many points it is. We are better off than we were last season, but it's a huge difference. Of turning, yeah, you look at that, Wolf, that Wolves game, that Wolves game the other day, you look at last season or the season before, we probably do draw that nil nil. Whereas yeah. that one we carried on to the 93rd minute, got a bit of luck with the deflection, but. You know, that mentality to go in right to the end seems to be there. And you look at the celebrations from Bruno and he just seems to be leading it on the field. And even if he's not having his best game, he sort of brings everyone up with him. Yeah, he's, it's been a while since I've seen one player have that big of an impact at a club. Yeah, cause when we signed him, we were all excited, but he surpassed even what any wildest dreams we could have had of him having at the club. He's just been phenomenal. So can you win the league? That's the question, isn't it? I think it all it all depends how our next two games go. I think can define where our season goes. If we beat you, it, well, it depends. If Liverpool don't beat Southampton and we beat you, and then we go to Anfield and get a result, it starts to look really bright from there. Whereas if you lose the next two, you can drop down quite a few places at the moment. The way mm. the league is, but I think if we win our next two games in the league, I think you start to get really excited about it then. But then that comes with its new added pressures of can they handle being at the top? It's easy to chase. It's a lot different to being chased. That's it. And um, it's, I think this is one of the best title races we've had in years. Uh, I think it's a lot be, more yeah. open this year. So I think it's probably our best chance in years and years we've had of being able to properly challenge for it. And yeah, it's strange, strange to be knocked out of the Champions League level, but I think. Uh, well. it, yeah, that was it was a kick in the teeth that for us. But then our league form almost picked up at the same time as going out of the Champions League. I think yeah. if you ask fans, they'd probably take. If you said to a fan at the start of the season, you'll go out of the Champions League group, seeing the group that we had to start with, but you'll challenge, you'll win the title, they'd bit your hand off. Yeah, agreed on that. You enjoying it, Jack? Seeing United up there? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Anything yeah. to add? <laughs> oh, the, 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 the tough thing with United is that the, the, the fans' minimum expectation, they're not always going to accept, oh, we'll get top four this year. The expectation mm. is ridiculously high at United, and so it should be for the size of the club. But the 
and you know it's 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 going to define Solskjaer this season you know how far he can take them because they are in a title race as it stands um and he he's got he's got to prove everyone wrong this year and if he keeps them in a title race not necessarily wins it but even if he just keeps them in a title race for a long part of this season then I think I think he's doing what's required of him yeah he's proving me wrong Solskjaer I said he worked up to it you've got to rate him as well because the amount of people that go at Solskjaer you know there's there's still a lot of United fans that you know have hashtag Ole out in their bio Mm -hmm. like that um And you know he he knows it's going on, and it's been going on for a lot, probably for most of the time he's been in the job. And you've got to rate him for how much he just gets on with the job and tries to continue proving people wrong. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad I'm glad he's proved me wrong because I like Ollie. Glad he's. Uh... I think a lot of our season could depend on those gritty one nil results, like the Wolves ones. I think they could define a lot of it. They're the ones where you don't play well and get the result. That's what makes a title win inside. Yeah. Sometimes you've just got to lose your style and just get the result any way possible. Yeah, sometimes them games where you don't play as well, they're, they're the most important ones if you get a result, isn't it? Rather than yeah, so you look the playing. last few years, Christmas periods where we've suffered, you look the one with Mourinho where we got the 80-odd points, we lost a few at Christmas and effectively lost the title at Christmas. Whereas yeah. this year round, with our form bar the Leicester result, which was an annoying one because we played really well in that. Yeah, which so picked up vital points. Yeah, definitely. And well in it, well in that title race for definite. Um, big game on the seventeenth. I'm so it is. it is big game. You've got to play. You've got to come to turf more yet though. <laughs> <laughs> um, top two. We both went with the same teams. Obviously, Man City and Liverpool. Um, me and Jack went Liverpool to win it. Ben, you went for City. I did. Yeah. To win the title. City now only four points off with a game in hand. Um, so it's going to be a brilliant title race this year. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough, so it's tough to call this year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough to call because City have, have looked hit and miss, but when they're on it, they're unbelievable, aren't they? That's the thing with City. Yeah, so they've had their mm. critics this season, but like you said, when they turned it on, they're unplayable, really. It's the mm. games you look probably the West Brom one where people criticize them a lot for. You know, they you drew think... against us and they drew against West Brom. Like they're not good results. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's been weird. And then, but then they can go and. I mean, they beat us five 0 every year. <laughs> they're annual, they're annual, they're annual dem- dem- demolition of Burnley. <laughs> yeah, that happens every single year. Today against Chelsea, I only saw it for stuff. Came on here, but they were <laughs> torn apart. Does Dyche just stuff. turn up to the Etihad and go? Just, just get over, get it open and go. <laughs> I don't know what he tells them players before Etihad game. I really don't. But um, he must be dying for a three 0 forfeit or something. My lowest point when we were three 0 down there, and he brought De Bruyne and Aguero on. <laughs> 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 He's such a tryhard, isn't he, Pep? That 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 was my lowest point at the Etihad. Yeah, for definite. <laughs> um, and we've had some low points at the Etihad, but that were. You've been there I... for a few of them, haven't you? What's that? You've been there for a few of them, haven't you? I've been there for a few of them, yeah. God, <laughs> that's that's been one good thing about COVID. I haven't been, I haven't been, I can't go. It, it took out my hands, so there was no way I could go. Um, so yeah, Liverpool top of the league. I, I still think Liverpool will win it, actually. To be honest with you, sadly, <laughs> there, I'm still sticking by that one. Yeah, it's different. It's different. It's difficult to predict it because if City win that game in hand, are in a point behind us and Liverpool. It's a real fight. There's, there's still some weird results for Liverpool, though, isn't there? Like, they, you know, they yeah. against Newcastle and West Brom, they've managed one goal. You know, we managed ten goals. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like they, there is a lot of they've they've drawn six games this year, and two are you know a few of them are, are, are bad ones. Um, but they still. Some, yeah. Some points out they were away formed, didn't they? At one point, yeah. I think. That's, that's it. Been... They've still only lost once, haven't they? Yeah. Mm. Well, like you said, they've drawn six times, which I say last season those draws are wins, weren't they? Yeah. Exactly. That's it. That's the that's the difference in it this year. They haven't been able to to get it over the line and wins. It's been it's been such a strange season all round that you kind of know those results are going to come. It's just been yeah, it's been such a weird season. I think it's been a weird year, hasn't it? Last year. Yeah. Glad to, glad to see the back of it. To be honest with you. Um. 
But hopefully we will get to the end of this season. Never know, do we? With COVID yeah, and that. More catching up to do now, isn't there? Fulham have got two or three to catch up on now. Yeah, and uh, City's got one, aren't they, I think? Um, they've got two. They've got Everton and Villa to catch up on still. Oh, yeah, Villa game. Yeah, first game. That was like the United-Burnley in it, first game of the yeah. season, because they played... Um, they played European like us. Yeah. Well, I think we haven't done too bad there, I don't think, overall, have we, lads? No. It's just none avoid it, and then they don't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll come back again at end of the season next and see. Uh, oh, see God. if Sheffield United and, and Ollie McBurn is kicked on by then. <laughs> I'm still hopeful of Sheffield United kicking on and getting a mid-table finish. Yeah, well, I've got an eighth, so we need a big second half of the season from Sheffield. We really do. Yeah, it's not until they replace Burnley. You, you... <laughs> I also stand by my prediction: Villa are going down. <laughs> yeah, you need a big rot from Villa. <laughs> you need a big rot. Um, and, and and Wolves as well, you two. You two a bit dodgy on Wolves, were you? Yeah, I need to start picking up some consistency. <laughs> yeah, that's it. West Ham. Me, me and Jack need West Ham to have a stinker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, so uh, yeah, cheers for that, lads. And we'll come back at uh, end, of, end of this season and see how we've done overall. Can't wait. Can't no, wait. But... I'll, I'll, I'll have to uh, add them up as well at the end of the season. We'll do a difference in the <laughs> positions, like see, how, see who wins. Uh, so yeah, cheers everyone for watching and... Um, I'm back again next week with a rewind, probably. So, yeah, speak soon.